Hello, my name is Jason, and I'm a member of Team Single-Handedly, where we strive to meet the kayaking needs of those with limited or single-arm use. Today, I'll be showcasing our single-arm rowing assist. While some images play in the background, I'm going to discuss the design. Our single-arm rowing assist is constructed from mainly oak and hardware. It is about the width of an average kayak, and is meant to wedge itself between the interior walls using threaded adjustments. A single telescoping aluminum pole mounts an oarlock in front of the user. This pole is countersunk in the bottom of the oak for reinforcement. Also, it is threaded to its base and is therefore replaceable if damages occur. The oak has been treated with polyurethane and the metal components are stainless steel or aluminum to prevent corrosion. Alex here is going to install the assist on a kayak provided by LTU. As you can see, he has removed the top wing nut and bolt to lock the paddle in place. Another thing to consider is that the oar lock can be reassembled in a different orientation to accommodate paddles of much larger diameters. While in this installation, Alex only has to tighten one side of the assist to get it stable in the kayak, the entire device has plus or minus three inches of travel for user preference side to side. Also, a user could push it further or closer to the seat. As you can see, the pole has a fair range of motion as well to adjust to users of different sizes. Also, due to the location of the device beneath the user's legs, this does not hinder the user from escaping the kayak in the case of a rollover. During testing, the assist met or surpassed its required times for installation and removal by a large margin. As a practical rowing device, the assist makes rowing much easier when using only one hand. By applying force across the point of leverage, a single armed user can now transfer the power across the kayak, providing more even strokes. This short clip here just shows how easy it is to remove the paddle from the assist in a panic scenario. As Alex removes the assist from the kayak, it is important to recognize that this is still a prototype. We found the rubber grommets on the ends of the threaded adjustments do not have enough friction to hold the assist rock steady, and as forces are applied, it has a tendency to wiggle up the tapered walls of the kayak. This can cause instability. To fix this, we have proposed to use something with a higher coefficient of friction than rubber or to outfit the adjustment contact points with wobble joints like those found on seat clamps to better contact angled surfaces. Aside from this, the assist has only marginal room for improvement. The oak base is a little heavy and overkill when compared to the hollow aluminum tube that is the pole. A lighter wood could reduce overall mass to fix this. We hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for viewing Team Single-Handedly's Single Arm Rowing Assist.